I don't have a second monitor. So I have to go through a little bit of a process to get it set up on my phone. It shouldn't take too long. Okay. Testing, testing. Hold up, something's wrong with the live on my phone. Is the internet giving me issues? Turn this off. Let me try this again. Is the internet giving me issues? Oh yeah. Alright, good enough. Oh good. So the sun's coming up. It's just about time so you can see my my little creation here from the last stream. I have touched it up a little bit from the top to the bottom. And the under the bottom would be the underground facilities that we began yesterday. What is that? There's like a little There's something going on right there with those little clouds or whatever particles anyways welcome back it's that yummy guy and today we're gonna make 100 burritos for the breakdown event uh the last stream we prepared this little train so that we can facilitate the transportation of materials from the core of this planet to the top surface so that we can send them up this rocket right here the exo request platform currently we're at it doesn't really say what we're at but right here payload value to goal mm, bytes okay here we go we need to reach 96,447 for this goal but we're gonna forget about that. The goal we want to reach is right over here where it says 888,888. That is the full amount of the breakdown event. And it's approximately 100 burritos. So that's why we made this goal of uh, serving up 100 burritos for this <laughs> for this event. We're gonna try to do it all in one day if, if at all possible. Let's go and check out the underground base. I spent a lot of time yesterday making this look really nice and pretty. Clearing up some uh, dirt from the ceiling, lighting up the rails so you can see the way down and up. Testing a couple of things with the rail and... And this is the finished product as far as I know. I might have to make a few changes depending on what I am going to do with the breakdown event items. Yeah, as you can see, there is only snowmen all the way down until you reach the red layer, which is right after this one. Yeah, past this brown, you get a red, and when you reach, sorry, when you reach the caves at the red layer, you're gonna start seeing some, uh, some of those exo research aids, the little caps, the big capsules that hold the items for the event. I hope you like the little roller coaster style I made here. <laughs> I made sure to keep this nice and open because I love the view of this cave. Look at that. Look at the mushroom biome in here. Oh, 
there's some malachite. I, I should remember that because I've been using a lot of copper to make these lights along the rails. All right, we're past the red layer. We entered green. Green is where you will find the phase three items more abundantly. That's why we have to go to the bottom to get to the 100 burritos as fast as possible. And the reason I made this train is so that I don't have to use the rover down here. The rover will slow us down. Because <laughs> there's like basically no gravity, you see? And with no gravity, the rover has no grip to be able to accelerate and turn around. And you can move around, but it's so slow and unmaneuverable. It's better to just do it with a train. It just has a constant speed. You just go back and forth, and that's it. You don't have to... Oh, and well, you turn around using the rail posts. You got the rail junctions to cycle the connection wherever you want to go. Let's say I already made it to the base. And I know there's a lot of pods to open down this route. So I'm going to esta start establishing later the rail posts. For, starting from here. Onwards to that. And then it's going to guide the rails through wherever I see pods. And open them as the train goes. And we'll start picking up resources that way. So that we can bring them back super easy and we'll never get lost either we also have this uh infinite electricity supply coming up coming from the base up top we made sure to improve that on the first stream for this breakdown event so we got a lot of batteries to supply power very efficient power grid and most importantly the this oxygen that we can tether to if we need to speaking of which let's put a couple of tethers well, no, no, no. We're not going to do that yet. So, the first thing we need to do right now is to finish establishing this facility down here. I made sure to organize this, clear up the cave ceiling while we were gone. You know, some AFK stuff that might have been a little boring and grindy for a stream. So I took care of that. Let me get these out of the way. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I think I've laid out already in my head how I want to put stuff. Right? Because I need to print stuff and store stuff. That's like the most essential functions of this base right now. And I think the production line is going to go from left to right. We're going to have the storages on this side. Right about here. I'm going to put some platforms that, that supply auto arms right here with the materials to fulfill recipes on this side. I don't know if I can actually do that, but I will try. Maybe with a press of a button, I can make the... What do you call it? With a click of a button, I can start pumping out uh, burritos at once. Like, let's say for the burrito, I need four ingredients. So only the auto arms that grab the ingredients for the burrito are the ones that are going to be active. It's just an idea. I don't think it's going to work, you know. It might. Who knows? We're going to try that later on. To start off, oh yeah, and the printers are going to be right here, of course, on the other side of the auto arms. We got, did I bring it down everything that I need for this project? I got the resin for the platforms and storages. I got copper for lighting. Also, I want to upgrade the lighting down here because it's pretty dark. I don't want it to be this dark. I want to be able to see the base from far away. And just for it to look nice, you know? Uh, something pretty to work in. Pretty work environments matter, you know? Alright. I'm going to start printing up some uh, platforms to set the printers. I think... Oh no, I left some of the printers up there. 
All right, here's what we're gonna do. I don't have... I don't even have the small printer. We're gonna have to go back up anyways. I put these for demonstration only. Let me put them back over. Right there. Let's make sure that looks nice. I'm a little... Just a little tad little bit OCD sometimes. Set uh, this rail junction like that and let's go back up for a second it's gonna take a while but uh it's definitely better than the rover i would probably be somewhere around here with the rover this is way faster and you know i made it a little funner with these loop-de-loops on the last stream that was really fun to make too at first i was thinking of making a extension cord all the way down but I, then i was like wait a second powered rails can do this oh hold on hold on stop for a second these are supposed to be on i guess i forgot to turn them on when i was setting them up there you go that looks nice let's keep going Everything looks like it's in shape. Got another loop de loop here. Yeah, that keeps it interesting when you're going up and down. <laughs> Look at that. It looks, it looks really cool, doesn't it? Woo! Kind of like a little roller coaster. Give me one second. I got a phone call while this, this thing's done. All right, sorry about that. So uh, you saw I already started putting some st stuff up here. I had dismounted it while I was organizing for the stream. Sometimes I just need to see things clean so that I know what I'm working with. All right, so I remember I put this portable smur portable smurness. I guess we can call it call it a smurness. <laughs> Sounds pretty funny. We got this oxygen tank. Hold up, let me resume the stream here. So that I can pay attention to the chat. Okay. We got this little dynamite, all the rail junctions and posts. We got one. Oh, this is the junction. These are junctions. Hold up. Rail posts. Okay. So there were eight, a total of eight. Uh, rail posts in this medium storage. Why is this here? There's no one here. Yeah. It looks like we used a total of seven rail post bundles and with three to spare. Each rail post bundle holds ten. I used six. 
Six and almost seven, that would be 67. 67 rail posts to get to the bottom of the this planet underground. And that's a lot. That means I also used that same amount of uh, lights or the work lights to make it look nice. Am I missing anything to bring down? Maybe these tethers would be useful. Let's bring them over. Right there. It's gonna be the oxygen supply right here. Let's put these along with the tethers so that it looks nice. We got one dynamite. This exoship can stay behind. Let's put it on this rover right here for no reason. And do I have materials to open the canisters once I'm down there? Those resource pods. I don't. So let's bring the compound that I found right here. One should be enough. Just one compound. One laterite. And one resin. To open up whatever exo research aids I find. Oh, and I... <laughs> I'm trying to fly. I don't have fuel for my jetpack. That's also something I did while I was AF... Not AFK. Uh, while I was off stream, I refueled the refueling station. <laughs> Let's bring one and one's to spare. Let's put it over there. Nice. So, one resin. Let's take this one. And a laterite. I think there was a laterite lying around somewhere. Where did I leave them? Also, in case you guys need an another explanation, if you have, if you weren't there the last stream, I made this uh, little presentation thing so that you guys can kind of realize what we need for the burrito. So here's the burrito. I made this one. It takes resipound, leek, squashothane, and om nugget. Only two of these you have to craft: the squashothane. And the Om Nugget. This Squasho thing needs the Noxo thing, and I think it was two items only. Squasho thing, Rizzo Pound. I think it was Squash, Squash, Squash. Am I missing an item? Noxo thing. Okay, it, it takes two items. That's the point of this. <laughs> Let me put this back. <laughs> it only takes two items. The most complicated one is the Om Nugget that requires you to use all of the items from the breakdown event. A total of eight that are crafted into these ones here in the middle. And these three are then crafted into the Om Nugget itself. So it, it's a lot of work to just print an Om Nugget, and then gather even more materials for the burrito itself. That's why we're going deep underground, because I think you can find the Om Nugget, the leak, and all the other important components for the burrito underground, so you don't have to craft everything. It's gonna take the middlemen out of the way, and we're just gonna skip right to the burrito, hopefully. If not, then we'll just start crafting Om Nuggets as we need. Also, it takes two of each item to make one burrito exactly two of each item so two resin pounds for example two leaks two automatons two cosmic bobbles two noxo things and two unknown biofuels and yeah let's go down i think i have everything that i need i don't need this carbon let's leave it behind Resin, compound, and the laterite. I was looking for the laterite. Let's see if I can find it. Where did I leave it? Laterite. I swear. That... Ah, there's laterite on the way down. We'll just pick one up. <laughs> it's better. This little rogue medium storage. You know what? I'm going to take these down too. Because I'm going to craft a lot of platforms that need these storages. And since these are not being used, I might as well take them down go down down into the cave with this let's go we have the 
printers, right? Where's the medium printer? It's right here. It's packed up in the storage. Yeah, I think that's everything. Let's go. Onwards into the cave. God, I love the rail system. Oh, there's a rogue robot here. Let's pick it up. Coming with me, buddy. Let's go. A little piece of aftermath from when I was first collecting all the resources for the burrito. Oh, and then here's a rogue biofuel. Let's pick that up and take it down. I see some lead. Ooh, 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 ooh. This one's super important. We're probably going to use a lot of these cosmic baubles if we have to craft the Om Nuggets. Oh man, I left a lot of resources lying around. Take that. I might as well open this uh, isolated specimen. Ooh, perfect. I'm glad I opened that. That's exactly what I need. Ooh. I'm gonna gather some of this laterite because I need it to open the capsules. Oh, here's one. Oh, I don't have space. Bring this to the train and we're good to go. No, don't smelt it. Oh, that's what happened. Oh, damn it. No wonder. I have, I'm gonna have to carry the laterite. On my backpack. <laughs> God damn, that was dumb. That was so dumb of me. Okay, let's collect one more. Oh. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's take this. Where did it land? Okay, right there. Okay, so apparently it's a good idea to put the furnace right here on the side of the rail engine so that it doesn't automatically pick things up. And then if I needed to pick things up, I'll just move it to the back storage and it'll do it on its own. There's a little rope resin right there, but I don't I don't need it right now. So let's leave it. We've entered the mushroom biome. There's our first sign of mushrooms right there. I wonder, should I should probably make the research chamber down there. That's something I didn't write down on the objectives for this mission. That was ammonium. I should remember that one. I need ammonium for more fuel. Go. This is my favorite biome right here. At least as far as I know. I haven't visited all the planets or all the cores. So I don't know what's underneath each layer of each planet. So if Silva's cool, then I guess everything else must be cool. Oh, I have visited Glacio on another, another friend's planet. Another friend's uh, universe. And it's pretty barren on the inside, if I'm not mistaken. If I remember correctly. Alright, here we go. Okay, let's uh, pack these up right here. Alright, these are the cosmic bubbles don't store into canisters so we're gonna have to leave those on the floor for a second Hold on one second this is a uh, squash of thing cosmic squash oh there's the one that i was missing the cosmic squash cosmic automaton and no no not so thing that's the green one and then unknown biofuel is this one purple don't worry, we're going to have a pretty good organization system for this. I just have to start cranking out platforms. 
put this on the side. These need to be organized. I'm going to put printers here for a second. It's not going to be their permanent solution. Just something to start with. So I'm going to grab this printer. Start cranking out some T-shaped platforms. Where are they? T-platforms. Two resin each. I need at least... Um, how much was it? Let's, let's make 10. Let's make 10 just to be safe. I'll pack uh, whatever I don't need. Resin. And... Yeah, let's start with that. We're gonna start the repeat. I'll stay right there. I'm trying to... There you go. Start the repeat and let's begin the printing. We got one, two, three, four, five. Let's do nine. Start with nine. One of them is gonna hold a printer and... Eight of them are going to hold all these canisters. Okay, from here, what can we organize while that's printing? This medium printer is going to be useful. Let's put it right there. We can start opening a couple of canisters. Oxygenator. I don't need that right now. Compound. Where's the resin that I put here? Hmm. I think I can start organizing these little T platforms. So let's put them right here. This is so far this is my favorite system. I like how everything I like having everything on site, on my line of sight. So if I want to know where resin is, I need to see it out, you know? I can't just see it on a canister. And this system that I came up with, so far, has been my favorite. So we're going to put them together like that. This is going to get some oxygen pretty soon. I'm going to interconnect all of these so that I have a fresh oxygen supply. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait, no, you're printing too much. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I can cancel this. Hold on. Okay. Whew. Close one. We made three too many. Two too many. So, uh, move these a little closer, I think. No, you know what? That's actually kind of fine. We just need to start printing the medium storages. I already have three of them, right? If I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna start with hold on, put this over here. We're gonna start with one, two, three, we let's print six. We're gonna just print six. Shouldn't have to worry about canceling now because I literally ran out of resin now, after this. We're gonna store these real quick. Oh, this one's the printer. Oh, I think I made exactly what I need. Let me see. 
One T platform. Two. Oh, I just made one extra. That's fine. Medium storage. Oh, wrong button. Put there right there. I like put, putting these on the side because the canister is gonna go right here. And if, if I put it like this, it's just gonna interfere. It's gonna look ugly and I want things to look nice. Alright, let's lock these in just in case. too close to each other let's separate them just a little bit starting with this one let's make them touch toes like that it'd be good no stay right there this one is too in the way let's move it this way That's looking nice. I, I like this. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move this one too. A little more. That's not what I wanted to grab. Here we go. Might have to move a couple of things around later, but let's not focus on that. We need to focus on gathering materials for the printing process. All right, now let's grab all these canisters and put them over here. I'm gonna put the gases on one side so that everything looks nice. And then the solid items on the other side. Like this. Just realized I don't have a silo for the arm nuggets. I might need one. So I might... I will actually move things around later. We'll figure it out. Let's uh, work with what we got for now. Oh shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh shoot, I'm missing one. I never unpacked it, it's right here. Ah, shoot. Let's see what we can do. I think I might have to move this T platform. Uh, sorry, that extra large platform. Let's move it this way. Gently. Right there should be okay for now. And. Almost forgot. I need a storage silo for these. Put the last T platform right here, and we should be okay. Mm hmm, that looks nice. 
Oh, well, that one's a little crooked, but whatever. Let's leave it like that. I'm gonna have to move all the canisters one slot to the right. So that I can... <laughs> Excuse me. So that I can fit this one right there. Okay. That looks nice. Mm, let's see. The next thing I need is a couple of platforms for the printers. We don't have resin. We're going to have to look for some. So we're going to use this handy dandy crane right here to collect some resin. Let's bring this canister too. We're going to need that. Put some rail posts on me and go hunting for some. Let's put this. Let's take some tethers with me. No, no, I'm just gonna take the rail post bundles and we're gonna start putting some of those up while we look for resin and the capsules. We can do two things in one. So I'm gonna put the rail post bundles on the active slot right here. Oh, this one. We're gonna take the train down this way. Make a turn. I wanna clear some of this up. Oh, it's a good idea to take down walls too so that I can see uh, what's ahead from the base. Oh, well, what do you know? I found one, two, three exo catches. These are glowing, though. I think they might contain items that we need. Does that mean I'm going to have to bring more dynamite down here? Let's make this look really nice and clean. What else we got? Oh, I'm out of power. I'm gonna have to get, get this rail over here. Alright, we're gonna go take the train through here. This is going to help clear out the path from all these stalagmites because they really get a little annoying. Oh, I didn't mean to collect that. So I can have a clear vision of where I'm going. Look at all these snowmen. Take out this little stalagmite here. Got the wall, recharge. I think we can make a turn towards the right here. So let's set up another rail post bundle. Here we go. Oh, these are deadly. I'm gonna take these out. Get out of my way. Bury that shit. Are these, are these, uh, no, no, they're, they're fine. It's the big ones that hurt you. The baby ones are okay. All right. All right, so we're going to take the train through here. Then this way. And go ahead and take down this wall right here. We can see where we're going. Pretty sure there's more stuff. Yeah, there you go. See? Just have to go this way. We're setting up some more rail posts.
Oh my god. That breaks the snowman. Oh, this is the tall rail post. That looks so cool. Got some garbage on the left and more more of those things on the right. Which way do we go? I think this calls for a junction. So let's uh let's start bringing the car over the rail engine. Oh, this actually reaches. Woo! Nice. Oh, look at that. We got Noxomaton 002 and Cosmic Squash. Those are so good. Like, that's already uh, two of the most important ingredients for, for the burrito. Or the Omnigate itself. Oh, let me take these. Got a rail post bundle. And more tethers. I got a lot of those back over there. Alright, this is how we're gonna know where to put stuff. You see how easy it is to tell things apart now? Look at that. <laughs> that looks so nice. I just need some lighting down here. So we're gonna make sure we get some tall posts going on down here. Hmm. This doesn't have a storage yet, right? No, it doesn't. Where would it go, though? Not there. Definitely there. Okay, so we're gonna need two more resource canisters. I might put them over here instead. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know what I'm gonna do later. For the sake of organization. So we're hunting for resin as well. While we're setting up these posts, remember, remind me that we're hunting for resin. Let's get the train ready. I'm gonna bring it along. Path obstructed by what? Does this obstruct the path? Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. Damn it. <laughs> I moved it for nothing. Put this back where it goes. The leaks. Where's the leak, ma'am? This is important. It shouldn't get lost. All right. It's a good thing this resource canister here is empty. this over here and we're gonna go ahead and mount these canisters on the train I don't need the crane yet let me see I don't need this one here let's put it back and let's load up the canisters again into the train we're gonna bring the canisters along so that I know uh, so that I don't have to come back Let's put these on the train. We're gonna make sure to fill these up real good. Train's gonna go in the middle. 
All right, that should do the trick. There was a spare resource canister. Let me take that and use it for the Noxomaton 002. Let's put it right there. Where's the Noxomaton? Give me that. There you go. All right, let's take the train over where we were to our work area. We'll go backwards, and now we're good. Putting some lighting on this train would be a good idea, too. Okay, we've got... What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I didn't... Oh, shoot. I left the resin that I needed. I could I could use a leak here. Let, let me take out the leak. We're going to get a dime a dozen now. There's no leaks here. Okay, let's go back. I need leaks, sphalerite, and resin. Leaks... Not Sphalerite. Laterite. The Laterite's already on the train. Let's, let's just get some leaks. Some leaks going on here. I could have picked one up from the snowman. The snowman dropped, dropped him a, a dime a dozen. I'll keep that on me. All right, here's gonna be our first supply pot of the day. Whoa! They definitely fixed the lid issue where items would just blow up into the sky. All right, so we got this um, cosmic squash. We can put that right there. Unknown biofuel can go here. Noxomaton. There was a resource canister for it already. There it is. Cosmic Squash. Damn it. Where did the Cosmic Squash go? Into this one. Oh, that's fine. Just stay back there. As long as it's organized. We should get Resipounds, Leaks, out of Snowman. Yeah, there's the Leak. Mm, leak Storage. Let's make it... Where is the Leak Storage? Something ain't right here. There are two resipound storages, I think. Let's see if this one's compound? Okay. Resipound is on the other side over here. probably not gonna use these tethers right now let's leave them on the side so that I have a little more space for the snowman stuff oh 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 hostile hostile kill it kill it with fire oh that actually hurt me put a couple of friends on the walls oh this is a research item let's Put that on the side right here where I can find it later. Got some leaks. Resipound. Ooh, 
Oh, I can open this one right now. I don't think I'm even gonna bother getting those lids, honestly. Because <laughs> they just fly off into the sky. They'll eventually fall back. Why are they despawning? I don't want it to despawn, I want to collect them. Well, that sucks. Mm, those aren't priority. I'm gonna leave them on the side. I'll pick them up later. have a slot somewhere right there come here you're going up in the canister son yeah this is gonna take a while probably but uh, we're going for it man we're gonna get these burritos done and we're gonna fill at least one canister today at the pace we're going. <laughs> Ooh, there's an Om Nugget! Oh, shoot! Oh, that's good. Get pick it up. Nice, dude, that's so good. That was a yellow... I think that was a yellow capsule. Alright, let's open these up right here. There's a nice bundle of items right here. You know what was helping me last time? Uh, it was to bring along medium storages that I could bring back to the to the canisters. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these. One more canister is probably gonna help me out a lot. So that I can store Om Nuggets on it. Otherwise, I can just put them here for now. They're probably not even that common. We'll organize these as we go. Come here. Okay, so the green ones I was putting on one side. Put this washothane or whatever they're called. Noxothane. Right there. I got a couple of slots here. Let's take this and take this back. Some light would really help me out right now in the train. Let's put the compound over here. This ladder right. Right now I don't need them. The cosmic baubles need to be placed on storage slots like this because the canisters won't accept them let's put them right there for now and what is this unknown biofuel 
we got somewhere the green ones the not so things let's put them right there i guess that one then <laughs> How much is this worth? 84. That's a little bit. Compared to what you can find on other planets. Like Aatrox. You know, I'm deviating from the train. Let's bring this along. Back to where I was working. Right here, there's a lot of stuff. Let's get this. Hello, where's the lid? It sucks that they just despawn, honestly. Let's get a snowman somewhere. So that we can get a leak. Yes, here we go. Let's uh, open this up with a leak. Oh, look, I forgot about these. Oh, if I put this here, they should go back into their uh, respective storages. It'll shorten the, the trip, you know? Let's put the baubles. I forgot to make a silo for this. But then again, I'm also looking for resin. Okay, so I'm going to exchange the crane and stuff. Put this one here, the crane on the front. I think that does the trick. That looks a little better. Okay. I should have a slot around here. Oh. One more thing, let's leave this printer back at base. this i want there to be even lighting along this this uh project so i'm gonna put the crane here hold on hold on i got this i got this the winch can go on the back like that then this one goes here the crane goes here and the Om Nuggets can go there. I'm gonna leave this though. Now's about the time I'm kind of regretting I didn't pick up that resin because it would have been enough. Just enough to uh, make a silo for the baubles. Oh, here's a couple of things. I'm gonna have a quick look around, see that I find some resin or not. And if I don't, I'm just gonna go up and and uh, get a canister full of resin. Would have been prob probably been faster that way anyways. There are so many exo catches down here. Ooh, graphite. Oh, that's so good. If I make an auto extractor for the graphite, I can make a bunch of packagers. And I use the packagers for the... Oh shit, I'm almost out of oxygen. We're going back. We're gonna die! 
I need oxygen. Where's the base? Hold on. What I got a radar for? Okay, okay, okay. We're on the right track. Come on. Come on. Come on, Gary. Come on, we can make it. Whew. Yeah, let's uh let's go. Let's go get resin somewhere else. Cause uh That was uh it's gonna take too long and I want silos already. We're gonna get resin, boys. Let's go. Make another canister while I'm at it. So a canister, and what was the other thing I just mentioned that would be useful? <clears throat> yeah, we gotta start writing stuff down because I tend to forget things like that. and oh man it's at the tip of my tongue what was it uh, I remembered one thing that's not it but I guess a research chamber. We got resin, canisters, research chamber, uh, storage silo. I guess I'll remember along the way, but for now we're just gonna take the rover and get some resin. I don't have any empty canisters and I'm gonna need one where I'm going. Oh, I can take this one. Let's take this one because I'm gonna exchange it over there with the auto, excuse me, the auto extractor. What is that on the floor? Oh, I left the hydrazine on the floor. Take that. Oh no. I always do this. I forget. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I always forget to put a power source on the truck. There's one, I can use that one on the train. But I'm gonna check real quick to see if I have a spare anywhere. What's this? I'll take that. Mm, no. no power source. I can take this battery, that might be enough to make one return. Going back to the truck. Let's put this battery on there and get that resin. Boom. Hmm. I don't think that battery is going to be enough. But let's try. Okay. Oh, there's one thing I can do. I can put this here and let it recharge my my rover. Oh no, I did it again. Oh, I hate this so much. 
Every time. I replace the canister and I always forget to change the output on the goddamn canister. Well, I guess we're going to be short on resin for a little bit. This is already recharged. Let's put this back. all for nothing let's uh take this we're gonna need that down there we don't have packagers where is the reese hmm i'm pretty sure i had a, a dirt canister on the tr train i don't see it anymore Maybe I accidentally left it behind somewhere. All right. Anyways, let's uh, craft a couple of things while we're up here. silo the silo that i want there's two of them that i want but i don't think i'm gonna make the other one which is this one because i was thinking of organizing the debris that i find down in the cave into this storage silo but i don't think that's gonna be necessary so let's just do the small silo for the bobbles where is the silo right here medium storage silo that means i need two titaniums that wasn't a small printer was it here we go medium storage silo i used to have another storage silo like this one but i scrapped it because i i kind of hated it <laughs> i didn't know what to do with it and i guess now i do if i take this and I put it over here i guess it's gonna look nice Leave it there for now. I'm not going to unpack it yet. How big does it get anyways? Just a little bigger than the canisters. Should be okay. Man, all this for a burrito. What else am I missing? Canisters. I got two of them. Let's make sure I have them on site. I might want some packagers. Let me make a couple of graphites. I guess one should do, do the trick. I don't know what I did with the dirt thing. This is the gas canisters and the dirt. 
canisters look alike. Let me see, this is medium gas, gas. There's no uh, fluid in soil canisters. Give me that. Let's turn that into a packager real quick. No, not the probe scanner packager. Here we go. Ah, I remember now. I remember what I wanted to make down there. It's the... Uh, it's called the... This thing. I'll show it to you. Auto extractor. So I'm gonna need exochip, steel, tungsten carbide, and rubber. Because I'm gonna make a little graphite graphite auto extractor down there. So to make that, I need the exochips. I can just grab those. Steel requires iron, carbon, and I think a gas. It was argon. And then tungsten carbide is just tungsten and carbon. Rubber would be... Okay, uh, I think I'm getting good at this, actually. Let's take the iron. And the... Iron, coppers, we need two of those. And the uh, tungsten. Take one of those. And I think there's already argon here. Yeah. I'm just gonna make a shh shh Here we go. You want iron and carbon. They're on me, so why doesn't it let me do that? I guess I have to put them in manually. There you go. Make me one steel. And then make me a tungsten carbide. And for the rubber, I need one resin and organic. Rubber. Here we go. Do that one. Tungsten carbide. We're also going to need to power the auto extractor, so we're gonna make these things over here. Where are they? Small printer. Grab one of the RTG. We need nanocarbon alloy and lithium. We have lithium. We just need to know how to make a nanocarbon alloy. I'm pretty sure it's a multi-step process to make that one. Because it's like an end game material. We'll need one steel and one titanium alloy. So let's bring over some nitrogen. Titanium and graphene. Oh, shit. I do have graphites. I can use some of these. Graphene requires also nitrogen. Let me do that. Wait, why isn't it? Oh, right. Graphene. Is hydrazine and graph graphite. I guess I'll just use the one on my backpack. The hydrazine that I have on me. Grab a couple to spare because I'm gonna make another graphene because I need two nanocarbon alloys. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. We're not gonna make a diamond. <laughs> We're gonna make a couple of steels. We have exactly two argon... No. I think we have two argons in there, but we'll see. We need two carbons, two irons. Do I have space on that? In the backpack? I do not. Let me put this right there. Because I don't I'm not gonna use it right now. I, well it's gonna be used once I need to make the other thing. Steel requires iron and carbon. Mixed with argon gas. I'm gonna make two of those. What else? Make another one. Hello? Is it gonna make it? This thing must be glitched out. It's supposed to pick stuff up from my backpack. Alright, and... Nanocarbon alloy requires steel. Nanocarbon alloy. Here, steel and titanium alloy. I'm missing the titanium. Which requires titanium... Graphene and nitrogen. I think I'm almost there. I'm almost done here. Let's grab some of this, uh, this, uh, where is it? Titanium. Grab two of those for the two nanocarbon alloys. Turn that on automatic and put these two right there. Alright, so we can start printing up a couple of things, I think. Starting with the EXO, not the EXO, the auto request platform that requires one EXO chip. Auto request, what am I doing? I'm missing words up. <laughs> the auto extractor. I'm gonna put an auto extractor underground to get me some graphite. Okay, so the nanocarbon alloys are done. I think that's everything that I need. Let's gather stuff up. Gonna drop things for a, for a little bit. Didn't I need rubber? I did need rubber, but it's already here. We're making the auto extractor. Here we go! Hell yeah! The other thing that I needed to craft... ...was two... ...two, two RTGs, so I need another lithium. I have one on me. Where's the other one? I'll just grab it off of that. Well, why did I why do I have two steels? I think I made two extra items by mistake. I guess I thought I was gonna make uh two auto extractors. <laughs> oh well. Let's put this here. We'll find use for it later. This is all I need right here. to wait for that to finish. I can start printing up the RTGs right here. RTG, where are you? Right here. 
Nanocarbon alloy. Don't I have those on me? Titanium. Oh, I'm stupid. I thought I already made... Uh, I thought I already made the nanocarbon alloys. All right. Nanocarbon alloy. Here you are. I just need helium. Oh, no. Please tell me I have helium. Whew, I do. Let's grab a couple of those. No, just one. This one should be enough. Hey, that's not it. those back up Whew. man this is a tough job now we have to find a way to transport this down there I guess I can leave the crane I'm probably not gonna need a crane so let's take this out and carry the light with me. Put the auto extractor on there. And let's bring. Hmm. Maybe I should pack this one up. I'll make another ceramic, another large storage over there. Why do I have two lithiums on me? Nanocarbon alloys, of course. For the QTRTGs. Uh, here we go. RTG. Let's make one more. this rover charged up. Nah, it's fine. I'll charge it when I need it. Just put this here, put this here, and make sure to bring resin. Maybe while I was doing all of this, we might be able to get some resin from the auto extractor out there. Let's go check it out. I guess I am going to recharge this rover. Why isn't it charging? Okay. Hmm. Damn, that takes a while to recharge. All right. Oh, there's two carbons I can, three carbons I can store. Pretty sure no no they go over here also where is the the silo that goes here the resource canister I'm missing some canisters around here I don't even remember what goes in here I think it was sink yeah it was sink I'll, I'll have to refill that when I'm not playing uh, streaming Alright, let's go get that resin. He 
You know, I think the train might actually be useful for picking up this stuff over here. Oh, it's almost full. Dude, nice. Change that. Let me just double check this time, because I hate it when I leave this thing on. Okay. If I enable the output and I leave it on in the auto extractor, it's not going to gather up any resin. Wait, hold on. why are we losing so much power? there let's just make it home oh shit and right on the base too what's up with that I guess sometimes it just glitches out well you're staying you're staying buddy probably my own fault for not bringing in a cute TRTV <laughs> oh lord Got one slot open right here. Put that there. And I think we're just about ready. Let me just check on my, my checklist, you know? Canisters, research chamber, resin, silo. I'm missing the research chamber. What do I need for that? Should be really easy to make. Two compound and one resin. I'll just make it down there. Hopefully that's everything that I need. Let's go. trip man I guess the one thing that I forgot to make was a a hole straight down into the core that would have been fun I, I would need a lot of hydrazine to do that you imagine how fast it would be? It would be like three times faster to get to the core if I just dug straight down and had the train just drive down that that shaft. That would be crazy, dude. Alright, we're here. Let's start producing, baby. I needed the silo. It's one of these. Here we go. Storage silo. This one's gonna hold all the bottles. Bring this over. Hmm. 
It's also gonna look cool, you know? Mm-hmm. And leave one of these resource canisters right here. Because that's gonna hold the arm nuggets. Which I have one on the train, if I'm not mistaken. Right here. I took it out on the storage. Here we go. Arm nuggets. And I'm gonna bring some of these. The squash out thing, right? Wait, what do I already have on here? Biofuel, noxothane, cosmic squash, and this one. And why do I need a spare? Do I have the cosmic squash here? Yeah, I do. I guess I don't need an extra gas canister. Let's put that one there and this one here for now. Now that I think of it, it would probably look a lot better let's see if i exchange this with this put the gases on the back resource on the front and then now all the resource canisters are together nice what else do we have one medium storage here the silo needs a slot. Let's put that on here. A silo. Maybe we can make one more silo, but that would require me to go back up and get more titanium. So we'll just stick with this for now. All right, from here, do I need anything? The resin can stay. The oxygen tanks are just in case. I need to leave behind the auto extractor. Or just go and set it up while I'm at it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's build up a... No, I didn't want that. Stop, 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 stop. Just one large platform is all I need. No, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Woo, that was a closer one. Let's get this out. This is not what I need. Now I need the medium printer. Let's put that bad boy up there. And this one right there. Just one large platform is all I need. Put these on the side. I don't need that right now. pretty sure I can continue this railing down this road so let's set up a couple of these rail posts extractor is gonna go right here we're just gonna make sure that it's gathering the the graphite instead of the quartz RTGs are over here. I need to bring them on me. Leave it behind the compound. 
bring these to power the auto extractor. And we're going onwards. Let's go. platform that I need is on here. Let me grab it. Put it right here. Boom. Now, the packagers are going to be super useful. Because there, there are so many exo catches down here. I'm just wondering why they're colored. Okay, so this thing is off. All it needs is a canister up here. I don't think I brought an empty one, so we're just gonna turn it on and be back real quick with another canister. We're gonna leave this behind. Let's see, uh, here. I'm gonna leave this medium storage right here, just to be safe, so that it collects a little bit of that graphite. What is it collecting anyways? Ports? No, no, that's not what I want. How can I tell what it's collecting? There's, it looks like there's no way to tell what it's collecting. No, that's not it, dude. It's going to be really hard to gather this quartz here. I don't want it to collect quartz and it's collecting the quartz. Is there a way to... Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to try something. But I need to turn it off as soon as it's done collecting this quartz. And I'm also going to need to grab one or two graphites off the ground. So what I'm going to do when... Okay, okay, stop right there. It's off. We're gonna put this. Oh, damn it. We're gonna fill this up for a second. Hold on. I put this here. I put this here. It doesn't seem like it's gonna let me turn it on unless this is empty. It's just gathering quartz. Maybe up there I can make it gather graphite. Let's stick this thing up there as well. Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, this is so bad. That's not what I wanted, man. Look, we'll just look for another quartz. I mean, another graphite site. Is this a backpack? Eh, nothing useful. That one's yellow. There's a leak somewhere. Let me get that leak. Somewhere around here. There it is. If I'm not mistaken, yellow means I'm nugget. And I'm nugget is like finding gold down here. Or like finding diamond in Minecraft. Oh, sport plant. Hey, there's another spore plant that I just blew right over. Where's the... There you are. Come here, you. Put this back on the thing. Yeah, we're gonna have to package that auto extractor up later. <sighs> that sucks, man. That really sucks. I really wanted that to work. But I need to find graphite by itself for that to work. Otherwise, it's just gonna keep gathering quartz, and I don't need quartz. I think I might need to change mode on this. Stops all cars. Okay, that's what I need. <gasps> oh, good stretch. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, back to it. I need to use this train to continue gathering materials. Let's put this on nuggets wherever it goes. Yeah, so much for that auto extractor. I was also going to build a research chamber. Let's get one. Research chamber is made in here. With this. There you go. And I think I have everything I need to start gathering the ingredients for the burrito. Let's continue onwards. Hold on. There you go. Man, I really thought I was going to start gathering graphite just then. But I guess not. Don't I have the robots here? Where are the robots? I am missing one. Hold on a second. I, I think I left the robots over here. It doesn't look like I have the robots on the train. I guess I must have <clears throat> dumped them all out here. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, that's a, it's a good thing I brought extra resource canisters. Put this on the train. Right there. I'm going to make one more copper light. Mm. 
Where did I put the copper? I'm pretty sure I brought down copper. There you go. One copper light coming right up. That one's for my backpack. All right, and this resource can of fur. I'm gonna go right here. That one's for the robots. There you go, I think that's it. Do I have a spare thingamajig? Yes, I do. Put it right there. 